Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I rehabbed my Louis Vuitton compact origami wallet and full-size origami wallet and took them from drab to fab. Let's get started. If you recall a couple videos ago, I shared with you guys the unboxings for both of these wallets. If you did not see them, I will make sure to link to each of those unboxings down below in case you want to watch them. But long story short, I got both of these pieces about a week or two apart from Fashion File. And considering their age, they were really in excellent condition, but they still had some flaws that I felt I could fix in them and make them feel even more like new. So I wanted to film this quick video and share with you what I did for each piece to kind of conceal the flaws or help them, you know, go away. So we will start with the compact origami wallet since this one needed the least amount of help. If you watch that video, that's great. You'll probably know where I'm headed with this, but if not, I will now cut to a segment from that video showing you the one little sign of wear that this wallet had. So as you saw in that short video, this wallet had one little white spot just beneath this floral print right there. I'm intentionally hiding it with my finger because I don't want to reveal it just yet, but it had that one little white spot. It wasn't really that big of a deal, but I figured, you know what, if I can fix it and conceal it, why not? So I thought about it for a minute and figured, hey, do I have a marker that might match this canvas? I dug in my inventory and sure enough, I found a nice fine tipped marker that matched this dark brown canvas perfectly. And I kind of just took that tip right there and just dabbed it right onto the canvas. Now what I'm going to do is pan to the before and after video so that you can see how it transformed with the help of a little marker. Pretty good, huh? Now I will show you the actual wallet right here. Tell me if you can see where I did the work because I can't anymore. I couldn't even, you know, I'd have to like really look at my old video and set this right next to the screen to find it. But I think it has been concealed flawlessly. You cannot see that white spot at all anymore. And it just looks perfect now. So with the help of one little fine tipped marker, I was able to take that one little drab area on this wallet and make it fab. Now let's move on to the full size origami wallet. This piece needed a little more help than the compact because it had a number of scratches both on the inside of this compartment as well as the main compartment. Let me show you a clip from my unboxing so that you can see what I'm talking about. As you saw, there were a number of scratches in both those areas that I referenced, and I did not have a marker that would match that particular compartment color nicely. Also, considering the fact that those scratches covered a lot more space, I felt that a marker would likely be more harsh and show the work that I was going to be doing. So I didn't really think that that was going to be a good option anyway. So I kind of had to take a step back and think, well, you know, what are my other options? And I decided that paint would be the best option to resolve these scratches. I went to my local Michaels and was thankful to have found a color that I felt was a perfect match to that terracotta interior. And it is this bottle right here. I don't know if it'll focus perfectly, but obviously you get an idea of the brand and the look of the bottle and the color is right down here. It is called Burnt Sienna. I will show you against the compact because I don't want to ruin the end result reveal to you guys. It is a really, really perfect match. So I grabbed this little bottle of paint right here, brought it home and pulled out a fine paintbrush. I have this one at home and obviously you don't need it to be exact like this, but again, just something fine. And I just, I didn't even dip into the bottle itself. I just 
unscrewed it like so and there's just some paint in the cap like that and I just dipped into whatever little bit was in that cap put it on the brush and then just you know dabbed like that and obviously when I started to do that it was you know showing a little more texture it was you know getting a little hilly I guess you could say so it ended up being a bit of a two-step process when it came to applying this paint because I would dab the paint on there but then I would take my finger and just kind of you know flatten it out and space it out that also helped it you know blend in nicer too so I did that across all the areas that had those scratches what I'm going to do now is show you the before and after when I applied a little bit of this. And just as an FYI, when you see these before and afters, they're solely going to focus on the middle compartment. I will not be showing you the work that was done under that flap in the full-size origami wallet until the very end. So now you will see the before and after when I use that paint. so good right when i was done i was so incredibly pleased with the end result i felt like the scratches were next to invisible and it just looked so much better than when i first received it now of course being the perfectionist that i am upon further review and inspection of the areas that i did work on i felt like those areas seemed a little flat in comparison to the rest of the interior if you can see here the interior color is not one solid color it is mostly that terracotta looking color that matched this paint right here but then also at the very top of all these little pebbles it is ever so slightly darker so because of that i felt like while i did do a really good job concealing the scratches i felt like it you know, if you stared at it long enough, you could still tell that kind of something was going on there. And if you didn't happen to catch it like I did, I will share a picture right now and I will circle the areas that I felt like that flatness to the canvas was most obvious. So take a quick second and look at that little snippet. So now you see what I'm talking about with the interior being a little bit flat, right? So what I ended up doing is going back again to my local Michaels and finding a color that would best match those tops of the pebbled areas on the canvas. You know, these little, these little guys right here, here. So I went there and I found again from the same brand, this color, it is called Burnt Umber. And actually what I'll do, I will link in the description box down below to the Michaels website so that you can see both of these colors so that you don't mistakenly purchase the wrong color if you decide you need to buy one or both of these colors. So I grabbed this little guy, I brought it home, same thing. I used this paintbrush, opened up the cap here, just dabbed into whatever paint was in the cap applied it to the areas on the canvas that I felt looked flat and then you know used my finger to kind of blend it out again and and smooth it out so that it wasn't too too obvious in comparison to the rest of the interior. Now what I'm going to do is show you the picture of that interior after I applied this burnt sienna to conceal the scratches initially followed by a picture of that same interior after I added burnt umber to add a little more depth to the color of the interior so let's let's watch that little snippet How amazing is that transformation? Now what I'm going to do is show you the whole process. I'll show you a picture of it before, prior to having done anything at all to the wallet, a picture of the wallet after I applied the burnt sienna, and then a picture of the wallet after I added the burnt umber to add a little more depth and texture to the interior. And lastly, I will provide you an image of a comparison shot of all those steps. So watch that now. And now for the moment you have all been waiting for, here is the lovely full-size origami wallet completely rehabbed by yours truly. How amazing is this? I 
think it came out beautifully. I mean, look at that. I cannot see anything at all. I just, it's, I truly, honestly, part of me is still blown away that it came out this good. Like I, I expected it to come out pretty solid, but this is amazing. You can't see anything. I, I'm just, I'm so beside myself and, and beyond pleased. Like I'm just so ecstatic with the end result. It's how beautiful how beautiful and like i said when i was showing you all the pictures throughout the video it was of this area right here so the before the after the after part two or final result was all of this compartment and like i said there was some scratches in here as well so i will show you this as well look at that can you see anything how how amazing is this you guys i'm so so happy i, I there are no words to explain to adequately explain how pleased i am with this result so, so amazing. So I think it was a job well done on my part and hopefully you guys did too. And maybe I inspired you guys to take the plunge. If you have a similar problem with perhaps this exact wallet or another piece from Louis that might have those kind of wear, you now know that you can fix it on your own. You can just buy those two colors, which like I said, I will link down below in the description box if you wanna purchase them. Get them home, use a fine tipped paintbrush and work some magic and you can take your wallet or whatever little piece you have to work with from drab to fab. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.